Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Christine, the Water Marble Queen. <laughs> Just kidding. So you're probably here because you've seen a bunch of videos on YouTube where women perform witchcraft in a bucket of water. That's ironic, because I thought witches died in water. I guess that makes me a witch, because I certainly died when I tried to attempt this. Many, many times. So I was like, f*** that, f*** this, and f*** all of this. I'm gonna beat the system. How about I do a water marble that's not even a water marble? This is How to Cheat at Water Marble Part 1. Use water marble designed nail vinyls. As of the day of making this video, there's three different water marble design vinyls that you can get, all from twinkletea.com. I put the link down below. And you can also get 10% off with my code simply because we also know how to cheat at the monies game. Okay, let's do this. First, I'm applying Simply Peel around my nail because no, this is not even necessary to do a water marble nail vinyl. I just felt like making this design more complicated because I can. But I need Simply Peel because I'm gonna put a gradient on the base of my nail. By the way, I am using a latex-free makeup sponge. That's right, the thing you're supposed to put on your face to sponge the colors on my nail. As for the Simply Peel and all the nail polishes used in this video, you can find them all at the different links below down in the video description box. Now we're gonna peel off Simply Peel like no big deal okay you got it girl i don't even know what accent that was supposed to be like crack addict accent i don't know now add a quick dry top coat because we're gonna add nail vinyls next i feel like it's been so long since i said that sentence and it brings me such satisfaction to say it i'm gonna try out the floral water marble design first it's a little tricky to get the little pieces inside of it out so I'm just kind of stick it on the other side of the vinyl pack and then the small little pieces will peel out in English doesn't matter because you can just see what I'm doing in the video now put it on your nail it's so easy I know now I like to make different cuts around the vinyl because it kind of helps it give way and it's easier to press down smoothly on your nail especially if your nail is curved like mine oh my god what is that black hollow magic in a bottle that's right, it's nail porn. It's magical rainbow nail porn. It's a hollow space orgy. And I want in on that orbit so bad. Now you can use whatever polish you want to cover on top of the vinyl, but it's gonna be way more awesomer if you use a magical hollow polish. You can find this slut of a black hole rainbow polish at the link below. Now you have to use your brain to peel up the nail vinyl. I know it's asking a lot. Peel it up in the direction that will make the vinyl come off easiest, which is the direction I just did. Good job, Christine, at explaining why you do things. If you have a tiny bit of polish that went outside the lines and on your cuticle, not to worry, just use a cleanup brush. I got mine from the same shop I got these vinyls. And then add a glossy top coat so you can lock in that secret. Well, it's not a secret anymore because I just told you, but you know what? I'm a nice person and I like to share my secrets. And just think of all the color combinations and possibilities. Or we could just stick with this one, because this one looks great as it is. Well, okay, that was so much fun. Let's do it again, but with a different type of water marble nail vinyl. This time, I'm starting out with a creamy white base coat. Mmm, I love it when that cream slides right on my nail. I'm using my hands-down favorite white nail polish. I put the link below. It does get a little bit thick, and so that's why I end up cleaning up the cuticle area. But it's well worth it for this creamy payoff. Now add a quick dry top coat and fill in the blanks. That's right, we're gonna add nail vinyls next, again. Now here's a different water marble design option you can use if floral water marbles aren't really your thing. Looks like we've got lots of Wi-Fi. Slap some Simply Peel around your nails because we're gonna do a gradient again, but this time we're gonna change it up and do a gradient over top of the vinyl. If you accidentally Simply Peel onto your nail, just take a toothpick and gently push it off. Stick on that water marble vinyl according to how you want that design to turn out on your nail. Isn't that great that you can actually predict how it's gonna go down? Unlike traditional water marbles where you dip your finger into that cup and what comes out is a f***ing mystery. Let's do a rainbow of bright colors because that is an accurate reflection of my current mood. I am so happy right now that all I gotta do is dab 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 that water marble onto my nail. Squeezing an entire rainbow onto my nail was quite challenging because the space is not that large. I added a second coat of spongy rainbow goodness. Not your best fade, Christine. 
Not your best fade. But I couldn't help it, I was just too excited to get to the peeling part. One tip would be to do this quicker than I did it. Yeah, I took my sweet ass time just being amazed at the fact that there was a water marble vinyl that existed. So that's why I have a couple little gooey stragglers that kind of snuck out of the edges there. I cleaned them up just a little bit. Adding a nice glossy top coat will smooth out all of that hard work. And hell yeah, you got a water marble rainbow on your hand. My blending technique was not on point today though. <laughs> Look at that pinky. And so there you go. Now you learned secret number one on how to cheat at water marbling. And here's my message to everyone who can successfully water marble with water. Before we go, I think we need to fix something, and that's add some hollow top coat onto the water marble. I'm currently collecting hollow top coats for a future video on what's the best hollow top coat, but I thought I'd try it out here. That holographic sticker, though. I think it's even more holographic than the actual hollow top coat solution in the bottle, which is quite liquidy. In fact, it kind of reminds me of water. No, why water, why? Anyways, this hollow top coat is not that concentrated, but I guess it depends on the look you're going for. And I did not want to cover up my rainbow magic, but rather compliment my magic trick performed in this video. I then added a final glossy top coat because honestly, I wasn't sure if I could trust that hollow top coat to perform as a top coat. Does that make sense? All right, now let's just take a moment to reflect on how awesome these water marble nail vinyls are. Ironically, even though my channel name is simply Nail Logical, I tend to do a lot of overly complicated nail art that almost no one is going to try and attempt themselves. But this one is actually simple. You literally just take a sticker that looks like a water marble, you paint over it, and bam, you're a fucking Russian. And that's it for today's edition of How to Cheat a Water Marbling. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can be alerted when I upload the next one. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Okay, that's enough of that. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!